put it on the other side. Oh yeah. So I made it. I made it down here, y'all. I got some proudly made hair floor. <laughs> yeah. We got I'm at Rake Master right here. This is where I'm at. Lens Industrial Welding is what L I W stands for. This is where my rake came from that uh that I have on my tractor. My, matter of fact, that's one identical to mine on my tractor right there. Mr. John Lynn builds them right here. He's got a little small shop with some guys that work here. And uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take y'all through his shop right quick. This is just some of the other stuff, different sizes. He's got them, he's got them in different uh, configurations, different widths. He's got one right here with just a rake without, a, without the claws on it. And uh, you bet. How many different versions of this do you build right here? We build, uh, let's see, about five different versions, five, six. Okay. Like that. It's also y'all. These, these are also available in top rails. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody don't want to put the hydraulics or the valve on, but it's real handy with the with the hydraulics. That's right. the only way to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can build them with uh, you build them with with the skid steer quick attach mount or the John Deere John European Deere. European mount on Any it too. Mount they need. That's right. Whatever mount goes on it. Yeah, I know y'all probably see the little man baskets over there. He builds them too, but he says he's about to he's about to phase them bad boys out right there. And oh, all, handy. And they're they're handy. Like if you got a tractor, they got a. I'll just show them to you here right quick. They they've got a skid steer quick attach mount on them on the back of them, and you just crawl in them, and so you've got. What are they? Two foot high, two right foot there. Two foot, right. two foot high up off the ground. Yep, uh, about about ten and a half, eleven foot high. Perfect for a farmer or something not wanting well, to rent take something. That with you your know. Saw and oh reach. yeah, yeah. You can reach on out there. But that. So we're gonna. I'm gonna take y'all through his shop right here. This is. I'm in Perry, Florida. Just a little, little small town right here. Family owned operation. And uh, we're going to show y'all how he builds these rakes right quick. This is the only burn table you got right here, right? This, this, this one, this machine does it all. So when it goes down, you oh. go down then. <laughs> oh man, I go slowly. No, there's a number. There's a phone on the other end there that a guy yeah. that comes down here. Yeah. Him and his son can refill that whole thing. I got they it. They do it. So this is where it starts at right here. It comes in a sheet of, a sheet of steel. It comes from O'Neill Steel. It comes in, he cuts it out right here so there's not much left once everything's cut out is it <laughs> i mean not much waste that's where the uh where the burn table comes in handy right there i guess one one inch is the thickest that you mess with ain't it yeah okay cool so he's got a robot welder right there we're gonna come. We're gonna come back to it here in just a second. So this is where it all started at, right here, just in this little old bitty wooden building right here. Several years as a one-man shop. Mm-hmm. That's I right. I built everything from airboat to pontoon boat. You tried building trailers, trailers one time too, didn't you? I built trailers and I lost, <laughs> lot went broke. Uh, we built, I built plant stands, and I'll have to show you some of those over there. Okay. I, I don't build them anymore. Well, I build them and I donate them to the hospital. I got you. I got you. And, uh, I'll show you what they look like. They look good, but, they, uh, but this has been a long, this old building here was what, when we grew up, when I was about nine or ten years old, this thing here, we ground sugar cane, made homemade syrup, and we killed hogs. We had hog killings that we scalded the hogs, and we had, 
I can remember we had some of the best sausage and pork that you could eat. We had an old smokehouse out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this old building got a lot of history. Started from absolutely teetotaling nothing. Mm -hmm. This old building, Daddy built it out of Pecky Cypress. The old Pecky Cypress, some of it's left. Right. It's, uh, I think he bought the old Pecky Cypress for 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. they, were, they always burned the Pecky Cypress. Mm -hmm. Putting new wire, putting another uh, barrel of wire in it right here. How long does it take you to go through one of those barrels, one of them 400 pound barrels of wire right there? About a month. Dang, that's a lot of wire in there. Yeah. I've never seen what one looked like on the inside of the barrel, I guess. That's pretty cool. take to get this thing set up to where it would weld weld in the right places <laughs> I bet it is but after all it's not that bad it just takes time to get it but once you get it now the main thing is making the company cut those parts like you want them right what kind of gas mixture are you running here we use a 18, that's right. 82, 82, 18. 18. It's a little hotter. It runs hotter and it penetrates better. The main thing is just digging it up, learning mm -hmm. how to. There's a lot more that we could do with it that we're not. I got to add on to that shot. I want to do all that. I'm going to put this so it only enclosed this. So you may be a little small family operation, but you got some stuff to work with, dude. <laughs> I mean, you yes, ain't sir. fooling me. You we ain't... Got, we got some old branches here and roll benders. Oh, yeah, I see that over there. Them. Yeah. You can do about anything you want to do. Yeah, them are some old ones there, old boy. Look antique, at that. But now I'll tell you what, they do a job. They'll roll it, won't they? They'll roll up a 3-8 plate. Yeah, boy, I'd love to have that right there. I don't know what I'd do with it, but boy, I'd do some bending with that thing. That's a homemade bender right there. It still works. Look at that. These are all the hydraulic cylinders. He said he orders a hundred of them at a time to well, go on there. Three hundred at a time. Yeah. Wow. Those right there for a small tractor, 40 horsepower tractor, those are perfect 30, for that right 30 there. 30 and, 25, 30 and 25 is perfect for that. The thing about it is you can take, you, you can work saplings up good with those things. You just keep hooking up under them until you pop the roots out of the ground and you can pop them right up. That's right. We're going to put this one back to work again. I got the box. The man's going to fix, fix it. But that was in the deal when I bought it, so we brought all of it back. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I ever use it, but if we... If you need it, you got it then. And he gave us all the big drill bits with it. So that's the outside of the original building right there. The old Cypress on it right there. That's pretty cool. That's been there a long time. Uh-huh. Started there and then went that away with it. <laughs> you know, there's most everybody had this like this has a similar story. They start from nothing, 
and just hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, man. It is. And just put something together like this to produce a finished product, you know, like you do, and all. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's been a long, hard road, but I've, I've enjoyed it. I've, oh, yeah. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Y'all want to work for about 2 o'clock? That'd be fine. That's whatever y'all want to do. So if y'all if y'all want one of these things or you're interested in it, all you gotta do is call the number right here. And you ship everywhere now, right? He ship he ships all over the place. All you gotta do is call that number right there. And you can look them up on the website there too. And uh get in contact with them. And you can get you one. They're <laughs> I'll say this right here. Mine, mine's just like this one right here. I came off a hill one day on my tractor, and when I was turning, I turned and I I slammed into a clay dirt bank with it, and about throwed me over the steering wheel. And I said, "Well, I said I probably bent that outside tongue right there." I backed up and got off of it and, and walked around there and looked, and it wasn't bent none. And I said, "Well, if that didn't bend it, it ain't gonna bend." Cause it, these, these one, these are one inch thick on the outsides right there, and then these right here are, are laminated together, two half inch pieces that go up into just a single half inch piece up there. They're very simple, very very simple, but they're very very effective. So if you've got a tractor and you're looking to move some brush, any kind of brush poles, if you want to pull a uh, fence T post up, cross tie post up, wooden post up, anything like that, you can bite. He puts these plates on here like that where you can bite the T-post and stuff. But you can do a lot of clearing with a tractor with one of these if you do it right. Uh, you can work a lot of stuff up with it. So all you GM fans here. So you pull, you got a big, yeah, you got that big camper over. That's yeah. what you pull with this thing. Camper and that flatbed. We, I pull it with both of them. How many yeah, miles yeah. you got on it? 11,000? Is that all it's going? That's all on this one. That other one got about 300 or something. Goodness. This is your this is your Sunday truck. That's man, right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> That's right. There's his camper about, right there. About six he got a big in there. And then after the work truck. Mm -hmm. I think about a good old truck. Yeah. Alright, so what's the furthest you've ever shipped a or grapple to now? Where, where's well, I've shipped them to Canada. I've shipped some to uh, California and some to uh, over uh, to Puerto Rico. Wow, Puerto Rico, huh? Yeah, they, uh, three of them went over there. And the guy called me back and ordered another cylinder. He had bent the cylinder somehow. He said he had moved over 300 tons of stuff. Wow. One of these good places. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we, we had lunch. That was kind of the entertainment. That that was a lady that owned that place that, that, was, her. that was playing the pogo stick and whatever else she was playing it. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> I heard the Cotton Eye Joe party say well, before we went in there, he said, you ain't going to run off on me, are you? Yeah. I said, no, sir, I'm not going to run off. I'm going to film it. That's what I'm going to do. I had people, I've had people carry out there, and they almost get up and run out the door. They didn't know what was going on. So what we're doing now, uh, this is Mr. John Lynn, the one that owns Rake Master, and we're just going to kind of tour around Perry right here right quick. I knew that United Welding, y'all know the welding, the toolboxes, the aluminum toolboxes that lots and lots of people have. It's actually based right here in Perry, Florida, right here. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff right here in Perry, a lot of different industry here. So we're gonna ride around and uh, see what we can see here right quick. Oh yeah, I see it right there. He said that's a bakery makes homemade donuts right there Johnson's Bakery and this is our famous 
Taylor's Courthouse. This is it. This is a square. It is the Taylor County then, huh? Taylor County. So a while ago in the video, I was talking about the thing, the rake shipping to California and Canada and stuff like that. So while we're eating lunch there, I, I asked him this question, you know, it, was he shipping them like that? Because I think you told me before when you were building them, you were basically just right here in the panhandle, right? That's true. <clears throat> and I found out about him through a Snapchat friend. It was down in uh, Panama City that had a rake master rake. He showed it to me. I seen it on his on his Snapchat, and I liked it a lot. And and so that's where it came from. So the orders he's got going all over the place, they come through <laughs> through got top three. They see the videos and stuff, and uh, that that's really really cool right there. This put us on the map, I can tell you that. Well, you've done a lot more than I could ever ask for, I'm telling you. It's, well, it's, I appreciate that. It's been, if I'd have had any clue, I would have never, never, never in my imagination had it like that. You know, I think that's one thing with me that a lot of times people don't don't get is i came down here and bought the thing i wasn't looking for nothing you know i, I wasn't i wasn't trying to get it at a cheaper rate a cheaper price i come down here to get it because i wanted it because i knew it was it was it was quality quality work built well because that's the thing that's the most important to me is is the build and and all that and then the other thing that kind of lights my fire is this is the family owned business small company you know like you self-made kind of guy you know country guy come up with nothing it's been and, a struggle and it's and, and you know got a little bit of a leg up in life struggle 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 you know and and so that that right there is, is a is a huge deal for me so i just i come down here got the rake and i just want to share it with with people on youtube you know and that's it and that's what i did to where the point is now, today, now. Matter of fact, when I came in here and picked the rake up, you weren't even here that day or anything, was you? I didn't even get to I didn't even get to meet him, but I met Melissa, his daughter. She runs the office up there and I was gonna I was gonna jank on her a little bit while ago, but she she <laughs> I think she knew what was coming, so she flew the coop on us there. But I <laughs> we'll see. So he built these chandeliers in here and and donated them. Did you roll that metal like that, did you? In that old machine I got in the house. We built two small ones. Mm-hmm. And we built the, the large one. You get over here and roll it. It's pretty neat. They got the wrong lights in this one. Yeah. This is the way the lights look. Uh-huh. Yep. And got another one over there on the other side over there too. Yeah. Built three of them. But they built a nice place out here for people. That's the barbecue. Mm -hmm. so this is at a park here in Perry. And uh, they asked me about putting it together, and I helped them put it together. And then I didn't. I wasn't going to charge them because it's. I'm a taxpayer, so I said just put it up there. <laughs> You know, there's one thing that I'll, I say sometimes in my videos that I kind of go by is uh, in life you only get what you give. That's true. That's so true. So, so true. In I life. enjoy giving a lot of people. We, I do my gardening. That's, well, I call it farming, but it's gardening. But I give a lot of people, a lot of elder people. I give them that's right. Plenty of food. And they got, I, that's why I, and I enjoy growing it. It's my pastime. I enjoy growing stuff in the garden. Like to grow it and then uh, give it away and share yeah, that's it. it. And share it. You know, because there's not a lot of people who can grow good gardens. You know, it's it's kind of a art to that. Kind of a. And we don't use. I don't use any pesticides. And mm -hmm. so I grow it like my dad taught me. Mm -hmm. Go right out there to some of the toolbox manufacturers. Okay. Let's go. 
Was that one of their original buildings right there? Yeah, that's then? one of the original buildings. Uh -huh. right there I work back there. But they ship, they, they do a lot of toolboxes. So that's a United Wildings headquarters that's now, by, owned by Kurt. And then this other company up here, they build a lot of, uh, they're called RDS and they build toolboxes. Okay. So you got two toolbox man or is it kind of comparable toolboxes or are they a little bit different? They're a little different. Okay. Yeah. And they build a lot of still build a lot of fuel tanks. Mm-hmm. They build uh, they build a lot of fuel tanks here. Aluminum or Yeah, aluminum. Everything's aluminum. aluminum. Everything's aluminum, okay. Units. Like dog box type. Dog boxes thing. Okay. for your canines for your Law enforcement, you see mm -hmm. that vans out there? Oh yeah. So this is another toolbox place called American Aluminum right here. Mm -hmm. Sessions. Logging this tall yep. uh, tire cat. And tide water right there. Yep. Tire cat. So we made it back. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Mr. John, I appreciate you touring me around. Let me come down here and harass you for a little bit today <laughs> well i've enjoyed it i'm i'm not much on the camera but i'll tell you what i, I appreciate what you've done for me it's been a long long hard road we've been building this thing for 26 years well all, all i want to do is just you know people like you that's got something like this if i run across them or find out about them you know do what i can do to help get their get their product out there you know well, and you can and, sure done that I so you that. can you can come right there's right here in perry you can come down here and you if you want to buy one you can buy one pick it up right here or or he can ship it to you he ain't scared to ship something okay. somewhere he'll ship it wherever it's got to go it doesn't matter and get so it out of here in and out of here every day yeah load them up and get them going here and all so well, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed the visit and uh, and stuff. And I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-uh. you can't. <laughs> this this is Melissa. This is the one that's been dodging the camera all day long today, right here. That's Mr. John's daughter, right there. You can cook too. I can. I can cook when I want to. She don't like this at all. I love it. I'm eating it up. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs>